Hey fellow YouTubers, what is going on? My name is Buddy Blackford and this is After Effects CS6 where I'm going to teach you about how to use different camera rigs. You want to use camera rigs because the uh, property values on a camera are all clumped together and I'll show you what I mean real quick and I'll make a camera just real quick and pull up position for example position doesn't have the keyframe values separated so maybe you want to move your camera with set up, with set some keyframes here you want to move your camera in a few keyframes there but at this point right here you want to center it a little better because it's not very well centered and there, uh, then you're like, oh man, now I gotta go center it again to where I wanted it. And you end up getting, having all these keyframes that end up just being annoying and everything because you can't s split these up the way you want to with like a regular camera move. So I'm gonna take this off and show you a good way to make it so you don't have to have so many keyframes all over the place. I'm gonna make a new camera and I'm using the default settings which is the 50 millimeter camera and I'm going to also create a null object. A null object is pretty much uh, nothing and it's used to uh, parent things to or I don't know, that's pretty much it. You can put some effects on it. It doesn't have any like visual properties or anything to it, so that's what a null object is. So make that null object 3D. And we're gonna name this one Orbit. Because this camera rig that we're making is called an Orbit camera rig. The other camera rig that we're gonna make is called a Dolly camera rig. So this one is Oops, I accidentally took off the name somehow. And this camera rig is going to be able to spin around an object all the way around in a 360 degree motion. And it's going to be perfect and you're not going to be able to or you're not going to have any camera or keyframes on the camera. So the first thing we want to do is put this null onto the object that we want to rotate around and I have this vector right here so I'm going to open up its position and then I'm going to open up this position and just copy the, the position values from the vector onto the position values of the null by control C oops uh, control C and control V to paste which if you don't know the control C and control V to paste and cut and all that stuff then you need to brush up on your basic hotkeys because those are for everything even like in Internet Explorer if you use that but um, like in your browser or anything like that you need to know those so we have the null now right on this uh, object here and if I go to my custom view I can look here and see that the null is right on him right in the center of him there is an anchor point on the null object here and if I click off of it you can see it oh no you can't well it's in the top left corner so that's where the anchor point of the null object is now let's uh, parent this null or parent the camera to the null so we're gonna do that and now I'm gonna uh, come out to the top view actually I'm gonna put up two views for you two views I always do the wrong one every time and we're in the top view here and in this side we're gonna go into our camera and see what we can see here now let's go into our null and since we're orbiting we're going to go into our rotation values and use the Y rotation to orbit around this object 
Now this is the camera down here and just watch how it, it goes around the object. Like that. Perfectly around it and you can tell because the object doesn't move in uh, 3D space except for on its ac own axis. So there's your orbit rig. You can keyframe anything in the null. So if I keyframe at the first frame, come out a few frames and move around here to back to where we were, I guess. And then you can also uh, change your other rotation values here if you need to. So maybe I want to move him on the Z a little bit. Not a lot though, because then it'll look weird to give him like a little kind of like wiggly feeling, I guess. You can do that also. So I'm just going to do a little ramp review so you can see what's going on. And there you've got something like if you have a 3D object and you want to rotate around it, there you go, you can use that.